you say that he is not he's not pitched in a game a high fly to right field Mondesi backs up still back it up leaping now and he can't get it it is gone a sixth home run by Boston Ortiz has hit his second Jason Veritek has hit two. Well, that's where he put Slocum comes into the picture. Back in 97, Slocum was traded to the Seattle Mariners from the Boston Red Sox for Veritek and thing he has into every pitch. A lot of times, you just don't know where it's going to end up. Osana, right there in the New York Yankee logo, makes the catch. Really funny. Oh, he got me too in front of everybody. You see how a lot of the players for Boston have their pants pulled up and their socks exposed? Mm -hmm. Seven strikeouts against Tampa Bay. A slicer down into the corner. That's a fair ball. Takes a sideways bounce off the bat of Veritek. Here comes Miller romping into third base. Another extra base hit for Veritek. He and Manny Ramirez vying for star of the game, but that's the third hit for him today. Two homers and a double. And Damon with a base hit back in the third. Now the numbers on Reyes, who's been pitching quite a bit at Triple A Columbus as well. He was recalled on June 10th. Still a lot of question marks. The Red Sox have hit six home runs. Popped up behind third. Here comes Garcia. Two down. Runners holding it second and third. They hit, especially in the lineup this year. Toward the hole, but Soriano fills it. And the side is retired. The Red Sox hit another home run, their sixth of the day, and have powered their way to a 9-3 lead here on this 4th of July. Look at Alan Embry up there. He's starting to get his arm loosened up. Hit hard. Down to get it, Millar. And he'll beat a path to first for the out. He gets Garcia. One down and our special 4th of July treat, ladies and gentlemen. Falling forward. To the right side and a clean single for Soriano. He's two for four. Instead of slicing single, hit hard to right. Kapler fields it. Soriano can fly. He's into third and they're on the corners with one out. Don't write the Yankees off just yet. Boston, but the Yankees trying to mount a comeback. One of the hardest throwers in the game, Alan Embry, brought in to face Giambi. You don't have to tell Jason Giambi that. Just one. Hard and what a catch made by Millar. How did he see that thing? An absolute blur into his glove, and Giambi denied what would have been a certain double. What a play by Millar. I would do that to you. The 2-2. This one's catchable. Garcia Pato puts it away. So a threat for the Yankees and a couple of big swings that did not fall in. It is 9-3 Boston. Punch softly. Ventura from behind third base throws on to get Garcia Pato running hard all the way. One day. You're warming up to that Miggy now, aren't you? Kind of, kind of like Miggy. It's growing on me. Base hit up the middle from Manny Ramirez. Give him two hits. So along with a towering two-run homer in the third inning to the upper deck and left, and a great leaping catch against the left field fence. In 16 and 3, mm -hmm. who have those games been against? Well, fly ball deep, backing up Mondesi on the track to make the catch. Actually, Mondesi no longer in the game. They have replaced Raul Mondesi. Boston here in the eighth. Check the swing, didn't mean to. Ventura picks up the excuse me roller. And Ortiz is history. One man left. Another hit for the Red Sox, though. Plenty of offense today. They lead the Yankees in the Bronx, 9 to 3. West, you mean National League West? That would be Arizona. Not that. Not only them playing well, going eight and two in their last ten games, but Jim Tracy and those Dodgers falling on hard times. They've lost six straight, and now they've lost nine of their last ten. Los Angeles, nine out of ten. They've lost after winning ten out of eleven. Here's Todd Jones on a relief for Boston. Just acquired. He made 33 relief. So his batting average up at 3.05. Damon settles beneath this one. On a 
away in the bottom of the eighth for the Yankees. During the course of a long year. If something's bothering somebody, he, he, he a lot of times can go right to the source and get it taken care of. Posada with a base hit. He's on with one out in the eighth inning. Fly ball left center. Damon shades over. Two down. I literally did a coin. They played right around 80 games, and he scored right around 60 runs, and it's going to get better. Rivera hammers that into the ground, but Garcia Parra with a nice off-balance play nips him at first base. So Jones gives up one hit, nothing more than that. We go to the ninth. Boston comfortably in front. And to you, it is 9-3 Boston. Dan Maselli, one of the newest New York Yankees, will come on to work here in the ninth inning. He'll face Gabe Kapler to start it off. Kapler has two hits. Seems like all the Red Sox have two hits to the Yankee dugout. What a day for the fans here at Yankee Stadium. I mean, he also provided, what did he provide? Four souvenir baseballs? Five. The bullpen, and, and, and all right, it's not, it wasn't my day. He did. There's another deep drive, and this one's going to be gone. Bill Miller with a home run. That's the seventh by Boston today. The Yankees in their long and storied history have never given up seven in a contest. That's a new record, and it's 10 to 3 Boston. Bill Miller becomes the third Red Sox hitter to hit two home runs today, along with Veritek and Ortiz. Taking a throw from the right fielder. There's a deep drive dead away center field. That's Sweep backing up, and it's up against the fence. He wants a double, and he's going to get it. Veritek today now with 12 total bases, two homers, two doubles. What an afternoon for Jason Veritek. Well, Cummings had never allowed seven home runs. A fly ball into right center field, pretty well hit. Backing up and making a catch, Matt Sui. Even the outs are hit way into the alleys or down the lines on the 4th of July, and they've hit eight home runs on the 4th of July. Soriano gobbles it up. And that ends the inning with another home run for Boston. The second for Bill Miller. Pedro's hoping that some of those are left over for Monday, 10-3. That's a lot of highlights, too. That's seven home runs worth. A high fly to left center field, backing up Damon on the run. And he makes the catch. But perhaps the most impressive home run of the day was hit by Manny Ramirez, a two-run home run in the third inning. I wouldn't want to be at that birthday party now. <laughs> oh, no. Miller with a backhand stab. Throws out Soriano. So the Red Sox are an out away from moving to within three games of the front running Yankees. And, you know, even though they've got to get to over 500 on the road, and they're not there yet, they'll still be two games under 500 with a win here today. And that's not how you win a National League East. And to get to the postseason, once again, I think the Red Sox realize they're going to have first baseman Millar in the seventh inning. One of the catches of the day with two on. A little floater. Damon clinches it, and the ball game is over. So this 4th of July goes to the Boston Red Sox resoundingly as they hit seven home runs and whip the Yankees in the Bronx by a final score of 10 to 3. Coming up next on ESPN2, it's Sports Center. For Rick Sutcliffe, I'm Dave O'Brien saying so long from Yankee Stadium. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. The Yankees had never allowed seven home runs, but they do today. Sports Center is next.